Welcome to a very smooth sliding Team Talk episode. We are very sorry that some time has passed since we released the last Team Talk, but we have been terribly busy with things we are about to report now. The Axiom Beta hardware is complete. This is a really big milestone. It means that the electronics and the PCB designs have no known issues anymore and that everything we tested so far is working fine. There is still a small chance that we will discover minor problems with certain components in the future, but so far everything looks good. Upgrades and replacements of certain boards are still planned, finding new dedicated features and increasing performance, but these will be future projects and not something we will be working on anytime soon. With the hardware finished, we already started production of the first batch of early beaters for developers and early adopters. This is a rather small batch. Automated assembly doesn't make any sense from an economic point of view for such a low volume, so these boards are being assembled manually by our team. First, the SMD stencil is fixed in the solder paste dispensing machine. The PCBs are attached and the solder paste is applied to the stencil and then distributed on the PCB. Then the PCB is moved to the semi-manual assembly machine, where parts are picked up and placed on the PCB. Some parts are as small as 1 by 1 mm and therefore really hard to see. Once all components have been placed, the board is moved to the vapor phase soldering oven. Here the solder paste liquefies and attaches and solders the electronic components to the PCB. Then after the boards have cooled down, they are visually inspected with a microscope and solder drops leave a very distinctive pattern when they make contact properly, so short circuits are easy to spot. With the hardware finished, we are now shifting focus towards software development. At OSCON in our hotel room in Amsterdam, we got the HDMI live feed to work for the very first time. Later it turned out it was actually some kind of error that it worked at the point because the signal was not valid yet. But our device displayed a picture anyway. So it took us some time to figure out what metadata was required and what issues the timing still had. However, eventually we figured it all out and have a stable HDMI signal and can output live images from the sensor at 1080p 60 444. HDMI output in 4K does not work with this plugin module hardware yet. But what we can also do is record full resolution raw still images. And we can record a burst of still images at high speed. By reducing the number of lines we read out from the sensor, we can increase the speed at which we can read out frames and increase the number of frames we can read out and store in RAM. So what we did is record 100 frames with a resolution of 4096 by 1080 at around 100 frames per second. These frames are bursting into the camera's internal RAM at high speed and then the RAM is slowly read out and transferred to a computer. The frame sequence is converted to a raw DNG sequence and then post-processed. Keep in mind that the color science is still at a very early stage and this data is so raw that absolutely no corrections or compensations have been applied yet. So they represent a very early prototype stage. The first ever high-speed moving raw images produced with the Axiom Beta. If you are a voucher holder, please make your phase one payments now. We are starting to purchase essential components like the image sensor or the microset in volume for your camera unit soon and need to start collecting funds now. Please go to our web shop with the link provided in the description below. 
Please also make phase one payments if you're not sure when to get your Exxon Beta unit or if you decided you want to wait for the Exxon Gamma instead. If you purchase as a company with European VET ID, please create an account in the web shop and contact us before making the purchase. If you need any help with the web shop or the payment options or the process, please get in touch with us and we will try to assist you in any way we can. So thank you very much for watching and thank you for your patience so far. You have been great. We hope we have been too and see you again in the future.